Our next presenter is Jesse Hagopian, a middle school teacher in the Seattle Public School System. He is an education journalist, a community organizer, and a founder of Educators, Students, and Parents for a Better Vision of the Seattle Schools, that is ESP Vision. This, this organization specifically is uh, organized around the opposition to the Seattle uh, School District's proposed school closures and program can uh, cancellations. Uh, uh, Jesse is also a prolific writer, having been published in many of our local journals. Mr. Hickel. Thanks very much. I want to thank Real Change for putting out an amazing product day in and day out, and, and also for putting together this conference. Investing in buckets to bail it out, all these ideas might be appealing to you. But I think that really democracy fails when, when, we, when we close schools and open jails. And they say that we don't have the money to do this stuff, right? We just don't have the money to keep the schools open. There's a $25 million budget shortfall in the Seattle public schools, we're told, and the money doesn't exist to, to keep these schools open. They, they have to be shut down. I think the, the first thing we have to say is, is when there's $700 billion to give away at the snap of a fingers to CEOs and bankers who sabotage the, the economy in the first place, when we have $100,000 a minute to spend on the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan, right? When we can give billions of dollars in aid to Israel to go and lay waste to Gaza. When there's $200 million to spend on a jail, there is enough money for the public schools and for our children. Victor Hugo, the playwright, who once said, he who opens a school door closes a prison. And I think the opposite is also true, though. An American author and humorist Mark Twain pointed it out like this. He said, uh, every time you stop a school, you'll have to build a jail. What you gain on one end, you lose on the other. It's like trying to feed a dog on his tail end. It won't fatten the dog. <laughs> leaves us with a kind of distasteful image. <laughs> but I think he gets the point across, right? And the American Economic Review, one of the longest-running journals in the field, confirmed 
Twain's assertion. They recently published this statistic that I think we should all uh, commit to memory. A 1% increase in the high school completion rate of all men ages 20 to 60 would save the United States as much as $1.4 billion per year and reduce costs from crime incurred by victims of society at large. Additionally, the Alliance for Education and a Washington, D.C. based policy organization calculated that if Washington State in, uh, increased its graduation rate by 5%, Washington State, the annual crime related savings would be over $50 million. Right? So I think it's, isn't it great when a D.C. think tank confirms common sense? It's, cool. it's, changed, but it's fantastic, but. Washington State refuses to look at, at this common sense, right? And despite our Constitution, the Washington State Constitution says it's the paramount duty of our state to fully fund education. And then, on top of that, we have legislation, the Basic Education Act that was passed in 1977 that mandates that the state of Washington fully fund education, give 50% of the budget to, to our children's uh, education and futures. And they've been out of compliance with that law for, for quite a while, okay? And right now it's been below 35% of the state budget for, for some time. And I want to share this with you. Washington State ranks 46th in the nation in per-pupil funding, right? So you can go down the list, and there's Tennessee, and there, there's Mississippi, oh yeah, and down there, where you know where Microsoft and Boeing and and some of the largest corporations in the world is there's Washington State 46 it's shameful right <laughs> if Washington had the average per pupil funding we would have an extra 70 million dollars for the Seattle Public School District which would turn our budget shortfall into a 45 million dollar budget surplus right. So that's clearly where, where, the, where the problem lies. But our leaders have said that they would rather inv invest our money in what they call criminal justice.